the philosophy that underground fitness embodies is this idea that we're self healing organisms we're self healing beings, but we yes. have to have the belief that we're self healing. Um, how powerful is that? How powerful is it to have this belief that we're self healing organisms? I know human garages philosophy, that's a real, uh, pi that's a pillar. So talk to me about the power of belief and the fact that we're self healing and, and why that's so important. Listen, uh, there's, there's been uh, 4.5 million studies over 55 years on the placebo effect. And one third of the time, whether it's a surgery or medication, they found that the positive uh, thought is what produced the benefit. That same <clears throat> research and science conclusively peer reviewed showed that one third of the time, the negative thought created the, the failure. So that just makes me believe, like from a practical standpoint, I always take a kind of a part, say, well, there's a possibility it could be, but it just means that it's all about what we believe at the end. So if I believe it's going to work, it's going to work. If I believe it's not going to work, it's not going to work. And belief is a really strong motivator in the human nervous system. <clears throat> if I have a belief that I can do something, the body is designed to heal, but not just heal, but perform. And we use belief and performance. Like we'll accept belief if I want to become the best person in the world, the best athlete, the I want to you know, create something new. We'll set the goals and we'll believe on it. But then we turn around in our bodies and we don't use that same uh, uh, that same style of, of thinking. It just didn't make sense to me. Yeah. It's all about belief, Danny. And I, I appreciate what you guys are doing because you're right. The body can heal itself. But I'm now on the flip side of it where I believe my body can perform. I've done the healing. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, that Let's go back to that whole belief thing. And yeah. uh you know, I live for cathartic moments. I love sitting in meditations and having a, a, a thought about life and existence that makes me go, oh, yeah, I'm amazing, or an idea that I can contribute to my way of living or my business or what have you. Um, so we do types of different types of things to put our nervous system in a balanced standpoint. And part of what's been helping me so much is doing these fascial maneuvers. How much or how important is it to understand how fascia works, uh, this intelligent fabric system that communicates uh, at rapid speeds with everywhere in the body, organs, tissues, muscles, skeletal, all this, all this type of information going to you at fast speeds. Um, how important is having a balanced nervous system it, uh, in order to have some of these aha moments about life and how we're able to heal? It's, it's all inextricably uh, linked. Like, for example, <clears throat> we think of our, our body, the brain being dominant. The brain has 100 billion nerve endings. Okay, nerve endings are your ability, nerve cells are your ability to process. The more of them, the more cluster. It's like horsepower in a car. The fascia has 100 trillion nerve endings. Mm -hmm. So in the effective range, what we're saying is that a Casio watch is managing the space station. And, um, and that's what the brain to the fascia is. So it's not, we now know that the fascia has an interstitium. I mean, we, we just made the assumption when we started 12 years ago that, that the fascia was intelligent and then we just sought to prove it true. But the mainstream didn't think that way. So the, your fascia, it's intelligent. It understands, it understands what's around it. It's, we are biophotonic. We are bioacoustic. We're, and, uh, we, that means that we move uh, information through our fascia at the speed of light. Uh, we're acoustic. It means we vibrate. We're in resonance. That's not my, we say it all the time, that my vibe or that you're on my frequency because right. we resonate. We're meant to resonate together. And the human body itself, um, if, we, if, we're treating the, if we're treating the body as a brain dominant body, muscle dominant body, then what we're doing is we're, we're, actually, we're actually reducing our programming through our state of awareness to the lowest form of our body's per, uh, ability to produce, which is our muscle and our brain function. And, um, and fascia is inclusive. It, it, it opens up everything. 